population. I take a class of students and I find the average grade. And I put all these average grades together. It's always going to form a normal population. That can be very, very helpful. I don't know what the population of grasshoppers out there is. I don't know if it's a normal population, if it's a skewed population, but it doesn't matter if I'm using the averages of their arm lengths or the sound that they make, the average frequency or something. As long as I'm using the average, I know it's going to end up being a normal curve. Now let's get really crazy and see what happens if we, we do a strange one. So I'm going to need a volunteer. Okay, here's what the volunteer needs to do. All right, I'll do it. I have a zucchini time. Custom. So you can, and here's how you do it. Any way you want. You can do it any way you want. So that's how you mess it up. Make a custom curve. This is going to be a Fibonacci curve. Did I say it right or no? Fibonacci. 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 Okay, okay, all right. Okay, is that good? Do you want to do it again? Okay, all right. That's the most good you can be. There you go. Right. <laughs> Take your time. Yeah. We got all day. Okay. Oh. Oh. Whoa! 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 Okay. Oh, whoa! Whoa! That's so cool. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Is that good? Yeah. Is that what you want? Okay, now. So, what's really crazy is that does not look normal at all. Which is appropriate because Brian did. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, that's terrible. I didn't mean that. Okay. So, this is not a normal curve, but look what happened. It's um, Can I go with five? No, I got to start with five because it's understanding and cheap. So, let's get this down first because this I don't have down. 18.13 is the mean, and standard deviation is 7.02. Try to sketch this out. Then, write down the mean is 18.13. 18.13, and the standard deviation is 7.02. You're going to need to feed that back to me in a second because I'm going to forget those numbers. Okay, so the picture, this is uh, custom. And it was a city look, which I'll have to get in a minute. What was the mean again? 18.13, and the standard deviation? Thank you. Excellent. Okay. So the shape, I have to get in a bit. Let's do for 500,000. Whoa. It kind of looks normal. It's not totally normal, but it kind of looks normal. 18.15 is the mean, which is pretty dang close. And standard deviation is 3.13. Write those down because I'm going to need to get them in a second, too. Hey, yes. Michael, uh, how? so oh, my prediction yeah. is you would show and Antonio will not. <laughs> I was wrong too. All right, so does somebody got that down 18.15 for the um, sample size of five and standard deviation is 3.13? 18.15 did I say? Approximately normal, I'm going to call it again. Okay, what was the standard deviation? 3.13. 3 3.13, thank you. Okay, let's cruise through. Do Ryan's for 10 and 25. What I want to show you, just take a look at this. I'm not even going to bother putting down the other ones. It gets more normal if I use a larger sample size. There's size 10. Now let's take a look at it with 25. Boom. You don't need to get those numbers down. The point that I want to make is if it's a normal curve and I take the averages of my data that I randomly sample, it's going to look normal, which is not a big surprise. If it's a skewed curve and I take the averages of my data that are randomly chosen, I get a normal, which is a bit surprising. If it's a crazy curve, I'm still going to get a normal curve when I look at the averages. That's very helpful in statistics because we don't know what the normal what the 
um, population that we're dealing with is necessary. We don't know the shape of it, let's say. But we don't need to if we take the averages of our data, because we know it's going to end up looking like a normal curve, as long as I take large enough samples. All right, that's what this is about right here, where I'm going to give you this uh, <laughs> note sheet. So the second sheet in that, don't worry about that. You're not using that. No, hold on a second. I had to do this. I had to finish it. These questions at the bottom are kind of important. I want to kind of nail these home. Compare the sample mean to the actual mean. All right, so for each of those three, what did we find out about the sample mean? Same. Same, or often dang close, 8.08. This guy was a little bit off, but they're pretty much the same. So what we're getting right here is population mean equals sample mean. If you want, you can put little funky, wavy things in there because it's close. So that's one thing that's really important for you to get out of this. Population that pops is a abbreviation for population. Describe the shape of the sampling distribution for all sample sizes. So what happens when we take the mean? What's it look like? What shape does it look like? Normal. And I'm going to put down they like this nearly normal because it might not be exactly normal, but it's close to it. Okay, as we go from five samples to ten samples to twenty-five samples, what happens to the standard deviation? Decreases. Cool. Let me make sure you all see that. Decreases. Let's look at the next one. Decreases. What happens is our, our distribution gets tighter and tighter. All right, now I'm going to give you this new little formula. Standard deviation of our population divided by the square root of whatever the sample size is. Let's just do a little bit because we're running low on time. Standard deviation divided by the square root of whatever the sample size is. For that very first, uh, yeah, let's do it. For the very first one, we got a 5 for our standard deviation divided by the square root of our sample size. Our sample size for that first case was 5. Oh, 2.23. <laughs> Whoa! It's exactly what it came up with. Okay, now let's do the next one. What am I going to put down up top? Five divided by the square root of, what's my sample size now? Ten. Excellent. Guess what I get for the third one? One. Square uh, five all over the square root of twenty-five. You know the square root of twenty-five is five. Gives me one. So there's a couple things I want you to get out of this. Ryan, the first thing I want you to get is. No matter what the curve looks like, the shape of the averages is going to look what? Yes. Once I take, no matter what the population is, normal, skewed, crazy, if I take a look at the randomly chosen data and I find the average of them, what are they going to look like? What's that curve going to look like? It is a normal curve. That's what it's going to look like. All right, now, the mean 
of your sample is going to be the same as the mean of the population. Same thing happened down here. The mean of the sample looks like the mean of the population. They're close, if not the exact same. The standard deviation will be different, and here's how it differs by this formula. That's what the notes are that I want to give you. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, Nigel is not as excited as the Senate. You got me, Michael? Or you can say chicken. I won't take your choice. Can you hear it? That doesn't count. Mr. Gitsella. Yeah. Can you hear me say yesterday? What did I hear you say yesterday? Exactly. Yeah. 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 You said something yesterday. I did. I was talking about yesterday. We did serious work on the latest events. All right, in case we need that. No! That is rude. Mr. Kinsella, can yeah. I have another one? All right. Here. Take it. Can everybody see this enough, or should I pull those? Yes. Should I pull the shades down? Yeah. All right. I need some water. This is an important point, gentlemen. Do you think it's a good idea when I'm getting videotaped? No, I don't either. Let's not. All right. Big talk from you, Mike. Size N. So what's important for you to realize is the reason I got this hidden is you really kind of need to know this. I want to make sure I keyed in on it. If we have samples that are too small, it doesn't look normal. So we've got to make sure that they're at least 30 or more. So you got to have sample sizes of 30 or more in order to get this normal curve developing when you're looking at averages or means. 